Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch, as well as Congressman Larry Bouchon, paid a visit to Terre Haute this afternoon with an important announcement. Lily Pesavento sat in on the press conference. She joins us now in the newsroom. Lily, what can you tell us? About the news, Thank you, Tom. Indiana is making its way into the defense market, and according to political leaders, Vigo and neighboring counties have all the ingredients needed for a successful defense network. West Central Indiana holds a lot of potential in the eyes of national defense leaders. Indiana offers a multi-domain environment for testing called Niskatatuck. You have Crane, which is the lead in naval research and development, and you also have a very intense industry sector here in the defense market. National defense companies may have overlooked Indiana in the past, but not anymore, according to Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch. The state has now developed a platform and a tool that allows companies to see what is out there in terms of defense contracts, but also to see who they can pair up with to have a better opportunity at actually acquiring one of those contracts. Not only will West Central Indiana be providing a service to the nation, but also be provided with jobs that could promote economic competition. You definitely can increase your economic impact base. If you look at Ohio, Kentucky, Wisconsin, they too have heavy defense industry. The Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce will also launch a task force called West Central Indiana Defense Network intended to help expand military assets for the state. The state is saying defense is important. Let's take it to the next level. Danielle Chrysler, director of the Indiana Office of Defense Development, also announced a new software system to accompany the defense network. The Coliseum will act as a digital marketplace that will scale identification, production, deployment, as well as operations within the network. Tom? This Coliseum Lily website, is it up and ready, and is there a timeline on that? So as of right now, the website is currently in its beta phase. A timeline has not yet been announced.